guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I'll be reacting to Rain to episode 54 of my country friends. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, this is the INA focus episode. Yes, the the penguin pen pen is the best thing about the episode. And then plus she got to talk to Alicia, and that's like the best thing. Me right? Okay. Because it's going to be that girl, right? The brown-haired girl. Oh, there you go. But see, I thought Aine was getting the one, the diamond-shaped one. Like, that one, yes! So, uh, no, because see, maybe the way it was towards us, towards the screen, it could have been, instead of it's, like, diamond shape like this, it's flipped towards us, so we only see, like, the round edges of it. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I hope she gets something. I mean, oh god, don't don't echo me. I swear to God, with this new girl, do not echo me. I swear to God. That's right, Cody. When the time is right. And of course it's Aine. Aine. What's up? Yeah, there was something on your head!
only iron. Oh. Then is she around the same age as the other two? Well, really, as everyone else? You know what it is, kind of like, remember when um, Mizuki trained uh, What's-Her-Face, who did um, Double M with her? That's what it's like to me. Ah... She's so cute, though. I mean, even though we got to see her at the beginning of, like, the series. Oh. You know what that's like? You know when you meet your favorite YouTuber? Like, yeah. Oh, she is so adorable. Oh. I'd literally give her a hug. She like famous him up. She's also kind of like um a little bit of Uzuki from Idol Master Cinderella Girls because she's I mean no actually no no she's kind of like. Um, Chetty. That's who she's really like. I mean, Wakaba, she seems really shy in a way, but not too, too shy. And then freaking Aime is like the Uzuki of this show. I can't. Oh my god, I know you're gonna ruin this. My lovable airhead. No, no, no. I know. Even though she looks good like that, but no, you, you're cute. You can still be mature and be cute. That little kid is like, uh huh. Oh my god, I know. I know, it's funny.
Aine, Aine, just remember, be yourself, honey. You don't need to act mature around her. Uh, there she goes with the. <laughs> even he became. <laughs> even he's like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? Aine, where's your rock? You lost it. Uh-huh. Yeah, because they moved on to somebody else because of the fact is you're not being yourself. You're not being cutesy. You just need to be normal. Is that what it is? It's gorgeous. day. Uh, I moved on. I had to. This girl in here wearing some that. What what the heck you wearing gloves for in your own office? Mm -mm. Unfortunately no. I must have found someone else. Possibly. Is it another prank show, boo? Uh, no performance this time. Seriously? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mira, Just be yourself. I mean, dang. 
today's Aikatsu and today's freaking prettier is literally about that. That is the lesson. Be yourself. <laughs> I mean, and another reason why she was trying to be, you know, more mature for Wakaba is because of the fact that Wakaba is one of her fans and stuff. And so you don't kind of want to be fake around your fans. You want to be like kind of your true self, but then at the same time, because she is someone who is important to you at the same time, it's like, maybe I need to, I need that je ne sais quoi, je ne <laughs> mm -hmm. There's the jewel. It would have been funny if that was the name of the song. Now, one thing I do want to say is, I think when Mio performed hers, I thought what they were doing, what they were going to do with the outfits, is it was going to take an outfit that they used from a previous song, and then it would have upgraded it into something brand spanking new. I don't know, but then after that, I was like, okay, no, not really. But then look at Aine. Aine is using the exact same freaking dress she used for her first song. I don't know. Because that literally looks like the same freaking dress. There we go. You know what? It kind of reminds me. It's the, um, a little bit, the colors and the schemes of it. You know the Aquarius dress that Ichigo had for, um, Angel e Sugar? It's kind of like that, except there's no wings and it's not, um, aquatic. In a way, but it's still the color scheme and the way it kind of looks gives it those feels towards it.
Oh, it's so cute. Perfect. Just like her. I was just waiting for you to just realize. Alrighty, so that is now one group that finally has their diamond. So it's gotta be freaking Honey Cat next. Like, there's something I'm gonna do at the end of the episode, like once everything goes through. Ah, you know. Watch the next one be like Topaz or like, um, trying to think. What is the opal, maybe? If there's an opal, but like there's a purple one and I can't think of the name right now. It wouldn't be Ruby because Ruby's red and that would have to be Onyx. There we go. Um, but yeah, I'm happy she finally got hers. I mean, you know. Like I said, with 53, it was like, my theory of it was going to be correct. They're going friends by friends unit instead of by random. So, Honey Cat has to be next because they were the next unit to be discovered. Then, Safiya and Kaguya. And then eventually, Love Me Tear will probably be the last one. Like, either before Alicia comes in or sometime after Alicia comes in. Because all these girls eventually need to get one. And out of our units, we only have one unit that officially has one. And then out of the girls by itself, we only got three. So I can see Mirai. No, not Mirai. Um, <laughs> Micah or Emma getting theirs next. Or they may just say, hey, let's just go and do Love Me Tear now. So we ain't got to do it later. But just I'm happy for Aine. It, it was a little messed up of how she did this episode and how she got hers because it was just like, mm, let me be mature for Wakaba and then okay, it's gone, but then let me be my true self and there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, those four. Wait, what? Uh, okay. Okay. Interesting. So we're gonna switch friends for a day. Okay. Like, is there a reason why? Like, as I said, is there trouble afoot? Or is it just for, like, a TV show or something? Okay. Let me go back to the opening and, like, hold on. I gotta, like, I'm like two seconds into the gang episode or when the opening starts. Okay, so right here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven jewels. We know the ruby one belongs to uh, Hibiki, the sapphire one belongs to Mio, and then the one that's in the middle, which is the diamond, belongs to. Um, it. There's four of them left. There's a darker blue one that's beside, um, that's on the left of Hibiki's. Then of the left of the, um, the darker, or really it looks more like teal lightish. Um, but the next one, there's a yellow one and that specifically has to go to Emma. Then after like supposedly Emma's, there is a circular one that kind of looks a little bit of a ruby-esque color, or it could be like a crimson rose or whatever. Um, I'm guessing that's going to belong to Sakia and Kaguya. And then the tear-shaped one will also possibly belong to Sakia and Kaguya. Now, what I'm guessing is, because we've already found our three major ones, um, 
they're going to be the key to probably find the next four. So maybe like there'll be an episode that'll focus on Micah and Emma and they need the help of Aine or Mio or even Hibiki to find theirs, like whoever it is to focus on. Like, I feel like maybe they'll do Emma first because Emma is the most obvious one because that's yellow. And when you think of yellow, you're immediately thinking of like Emma or even what's her face from freaking, uh, I Cut Two Stars or any of the passion orange color ones in the I Cut Two series because they're the, they're the ones who are very similar to Mio and Idol Master who are just the ones that are just full of energy. They're fun. They're exciting. They always want to do really fun and passionate things. And then you have like the blueish idols who are the cool type idols and they're just like they're not like always the serious ones but they can be serious as much like as a passion or as a cute idol. And then like I said you got the cute idols who just like all the cutesy stuff like Uzuki and Aine. But I, I can see that and then I think with the tear the tear shape one might go to um Sakuya and then the red one will go to Kaguya and then the um kind of like almost not rectangular shape it's like down and like that it's like a octagon I'm guessing um that could go to mica but the thing is it would have to be purple and it's not purple it's just a bluish shape so maybe I'm a little wrong on that but because of the fact is that the yellow one is by the octagon looking one and the red one is by the tear shape one you would assume that, okay, the ones on this on the left side, that's Sokka and Kaguya's, and then the one on the right side, that's Honeycat. And then there's one other thing I want to look at in this ending. Um, I gotta go back. It's really around where every... Nope, not that part. Mm, okay, right where you... Okay, no, I'm wrong. I'm freaking wrong. The diamond one... Is freaking um cottons and the ruby looking one is uh meat eyes and then the octagon looking shape one is Alicia's. So then what hold up wait <laughs> wait 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 hold then, okay, no, 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 then, then I know exactly what they're gonna freaking do. Th this is either gonna be one of two things. They're either not giving those four girls, Saka Yakaguya, Emma, and Micah, none of them are getting diamonds, or they're waiting until we get the second opening to show theirs. See, mm-mm, mm-mm, see, that's like a little unfair to me, because... Uh, See, I told you. I told. Remember when I said they're putting characters on the back burner? It's those four. Are you? I don't like that. I really don't. That's. I'm not saying that's unfair, but that's a little unfair because I'm assuming that these two best girls lo of Love Me Too are gonna get theirs last because of the fact is Mirai is almost in every episode. Cotton is, you know, doing her. Um, I cut to ambassador stuff. So, you know, she's not always going to be in every single episode. But the last episode we saw her in was at the beginning when she went to go see Alicia. And then after that, she's completely gone. So, oh, God. Bandai, what are y'all doing? I don't know anymore. Why are you doing it this way? And see, they had to go look on Twitter and Tumblr and see what the freaking little kids thought. Or really just the audience of I cut to in general. And... To see who was the favorites out of the girls. And then if any newcomers came in. Especially like Kibiki and Alicia. They're going to be at the top of the list. Because they're the characters who were. They're brand new characters that we're focusing on. Rather than uh, including everybody else. But it's just like. Why would you put these four. On the back burner of not getting. A jewel. But you're giving all like. There's like what sticks. No, I don't even remember. Go back. There's like. Oh, God. Trying not to get pissed. Like, freaking... Mm, I can't even get it close to it. Ooh, I hate that. Let me go back a little. There, there, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven jewels already in this. And you're telling me at the end of this opening that our seven is already here. That the seven who get it our mother effing, Aine, Mio, um, 
Hebehe and Alicia, Mirai and Cotton. No, hold on. No, then it wasn't seven, it was six. Because Aine has Diamond, Mio has Sapphire, Hibiki has Ruby, uh, Alicia has the octagon shaped looking one, and then there's only two. No, I'm forgetting that yellow one. So then, okay, Emma's getting that yellow one. That has to be it. And then you, no, because the tier shape, the tier one belongs to um, Cotton. So that's three girls left. That's Sakuya and Kaguya and Micah. Best girl, Micah. So they're, they're not getting theirs until the second opening. Okay. I, I mean, I can understand that. But then it's just, I think what they're going to do is because, they're, I, I'm not saying that they're going to save the best for last, but it's like, okay, since we now know the seven, and then you got to think about Wakaba, if she's possibly going to get one. But because of the fact is, I feel like what they're doing with Wakaba is what they did with, um, with What's Her Face in season two of Aikatsu, I mean, not Aikatsu, uh, the whole series of freaking Aikatsu stars, um, where she was there with Yume, and then eventually she left to go to Venus Arc, and she got the character development, but she never got a 3D model to sing. And that's what I feel like they're gonna do to Wakaba. I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to find out Keep watching when I keep watching this dang series, but, like, really, you're really going to wait until the second opening... To show three more jewels, possibly maybe even four, for Sakuya, Kaguya, Micah, and then Wakaba. Okay, because we've already gotten our seven for the first opening. Okay, other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 54 of my country friends. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially next time for episode 55. Bye, guys!